this is Amanda. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. What were you going to say, Mike? No, I was going to introduce Amanda. Okay, well, so, sorry. I'm, so I'm going to step up there. So, <laughs> Stole your Amanda. thunder, brother. <laughs> Sorry. And you are the Vice President of? I am the Firefighter Charity Alliance, and this is our event. This is our, this was our eighth year. Eighth year. Yes. Right on. This is our second year now doing Friday and Saturday night, okay. and that has turned into just such a great two-day event. Mm -hmm. um, we get the kids involved, we get families involved, and then we have, you know, all of our motorcycle families involved, and of course our Gator family involved. And it's really great. We did Friday night. We kicked it off with a $5 wristband for a wing challenge from the barbecue guys that were here overnight cooking for Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, and we also, also did a special needs cook. They did some pizza for our judges, and that was that's always fun. That's cool. Um, so we try to get everybody involved. We have some contacts with the local culinary classes at the high schools around the area, and they come out and test their skills. Um, I don't know if you saw or not. We did Friday or Saturday morning. They did a kids cook. Yeah, they what, did weren't the they doing burgers? Yeah, yeah. The, the, the youth competition. Yeah, that was pretty cool. They were, you know, slinging some good burgers. There. Yes. <laughs> and the winner of that youth competition gets a $500 culinary scholarship to either wow. help them out in high school, going on to college, whatever they need to further their careers. That's awesome. Yep. That's awesome. So do you remember what school won? I don't remember. No, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Harley as well you know we're all about like helping out people you know yes. like different charities and you know whatever get come out and support these things it's wonderful I mean how many places do you know of that really has like a youth competition you know to help a, a kid win you know money to further their education right. or to help their future I mean yep. that's pretty awesome I mean you don't you don't think of something like <clears throat> Excuse me, a chill here. <laughs> Chili okay. coming. Chili's coming back on. Chili, it's back. All that barbecue. Yeah. I just I inhaled raw uh, incorrectly, but um, you don't you know think of like these biker events as being like you know friendly to that kind yep. of thing, but the biker community is flipping awesome. Yes. Let's just say it. Like yes, awesome it to all of you guys. Like that's pretty amazing. And that's so. a great thing about Gator Harley being so supportive of everything that we do. It makes everything that we do here on their grounds is all family friendly mm -hmm. it's we do almost every event we do every all year long is family friendly and we encourage it and this gives us the opportunity to get those kids involved and out of their comfort zones and it's fun for them they enjoy it a lot so it's really good especially the, the, these days with kids being so like wrapped up and like involved in their phone or their yeah. iPad and games or whatever and like yeah. during this whole COVID thing I know that that's really you know bumped up quite a bit yes. so like this is awesome like to give your kids like you know somewhere to go like mm -hmm. that you can go with your family and like you know participate in something like that like get those kids active let's yes. you know be a part of something we were working the whole weekend and my kids were here both nights that's awesome <laughs> that's awesome yep and they enjoy it they have fun so it was it was a good time i mean there was the chili cook off the wing you know the wing mm -hmm. competition there was the barbecue and you know the youth competition with the special needs kids with the pizza and you know the other one with the burgers and everything and you know they had different bars set up here they had vendors galore and like awesome music yes we had some really awesome music so is there anything you'd like to share What's in store for next year? yeah there you go <laughs> Next year, we're just hoping to be bigger and better, just like every year. Um, the weather played a little bit of a role for us this year, but we still had a great turnout. Um, we really rely on this event. All the money that we raise from it goes to something that we call our Florian Fund. It is there to help our fellow firefighters and their families if they have a medical emergency, any type of a time in need. Just this last year, we helped two of our own. Um, one had a pretty catastrophic medical emergency. He was in the hospital, and we were able to help with some medical bills, food, lodging, things like that. Um, another firefighter in the city of Tavares had an accident with an alligator, oh my. and we helped with that event, donated some money there. So we make sure that we keep separate money just for that, and then we have other funds too. We have our pink fund for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We do toy drive every year. 
just so many things. So if you're interested in chili or cooking chili, come on out. It's open to everybody, um, as well as the barbecue. Don't be intimidated by the fact that there are restaurants here. We have different divisions. We have backyard barbecue. We have the FBA sanctioned barbecue teams. So those are your professionals. Um, but we have room for everybody, and it's a lot of fun, like you said. It's yeah. a lot of fun. A lot of people come and get your, just have fun with it. All right. Yeah. So if you want, if somebody wants to get involved with working with you guys, with your charity, or being a part of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the competition, or whatever, you know, get out there and help. Yes. How can they get in touch with you? What's the best way they can get in touch with you to, you know, participate? In this day and age, your best bet and your easiest for everybody is probably Facebook. We're on there, Firefighters Charity Alliance. We also have a website, firefightercharityalliance.org. And all of our email addresses are on there, as well as our office phone number and just all kinds of ways to get in contact with us. But we're always monitoring our Facebook page. We're on Instagram. Um, and all of our names are the same. So it's pretty easy to find, hopefully. <laughs> all right, guys. So like, like Amanda said, you know, there's so, there are so many different forums in which you can get in touch with them. So hey. If you feel like you want to take a go at it or even just check it out, there's all those ways that you can, you know, get in touch with them. And you can always, you know, come by Gator Harley here in Leesburg, you know, and find out more information. But, you know, don't sit there and wait on it. You know, participate yep. with everybody, whether you're just a patron or you decide to compete or you're a vendor, whatever. Like, like she said, we want they want to get this to be a bigger and better thing every year so that we can yes. do more. You know, yep. to help the community. So, Amanda, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Of course. Yeah. Thank of you course. guys for being here. We really enjoyed having you guys walking around doing videos. Hey, you know, like, it's a perk of the job. It I is. Think. I think so. You got to try the barbecue, yes. the chili, yes. and walk around and meet all the people. Yes, it was you wonderful. You seem like a people person. I am. <laughs> That's is. why they keep me, I guess. <laughs> I am very much a people person. Yep. So but we'll see you guys next year, January 28th and 29th. Absolutely. Same I'm place. I'm mark it in my calendar and make yep. sure I'm ready for it. And we'll be right here back at Gator. Oh, my God. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Well, again, thank you, Amanda. Yes. Thank you, Firefighters. Uh, is it Firefighter? Firefighter Fire Charity, Charity Alliance. Alliance. I want to make yep. sure I said that right. For all the wonderful work that you do, it's amazing. And, um, you know, God bless all of you guys. Um, you know, support your firefighters. Support yes. your police. So, you know, support the people that help you in the community like Amanda and, you know the firefighters what's y'all's next event <laughs> our up. next event oh, is good question, Mike. I'm really not sure <laughs> cheat sheet is just uh, no, I know with up, with up. <laughs> we, well we're still kind of in holding pattern you know we still have all this COVID stuff That's as of true. now we should be back here rolling for bike fest right um, as long as it doesn't get cancelled again alright um, but that's obviously up to the COVID gods. Yes, it so, is. So um, we are always here for that all four days. We start Thursday here at Gator. Um, we may do a St. Patty's Day event. You never know. It might just be a surprise. All right. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. All right. That's awesome. That's okay. All right. Well, thank you, Amanda. Thank you guys for having us. Yes.